Hey guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to connect to Dropbox within Microsoft Cloud App Security. So Microsoft Cloud App Security is uniquely positioned here to pull in outside data sources into an aggregate portal for reporting on all admin activities. And I can also report back on all the files as well too. So from a DLP standpoint, you're getting a lot of consolidated views into all the files that are being accessed. And you can create policies around these files for looking for sensitive information that might be exposed to external users or users who are trying to access these files on unmanaged or untrusted, unhealthy devices. So this is part of the service here that gets very powerful when you start connecting these outside data sources. So here you can go ahead and you can click into this section here for connected apps. And right now there's just a subset available from the dropdown that you can pick from because of the rich APIs that Microsoft has built into these things. And when I say rich APIs, again, it's giving you the capabilities to perform management tasks directly from within this platform across all of these cloud providers. And it's also allowing you and giving you the visibility into seeing files in this case for Dropbox, but also with other providers like Google you have options to suspend users in the account and do all these other management things straight from this portal. So for Dropbox here, I'm going to go ahead and just type in a name and then I'm going to click on connect to Dropbox. This one's actually very simple in comparison to another one like Google G Suite. Um, so all you need to do here is type in your admin email. And then click save settings. And then you're going to click on this link to pop into Dropbox. So from this, you can click on this link and it'll have you sign in with the admin credentials into Dropbox and grant consent for the connection to be stood up. And that's it. After that's done, I'll just pop into one that's actually been completed. This is showing a connected status. And after a little while, I would wait like at least four hours you'll start to see the telemetry pull in from this data source. So you can see any accounts that are listed in here that are being recognized. And then in the activity log, you'll start to see the events that come through as far as anything or associated to Dropbox. And again, I've showed other videos where I showed the conditional access app control policy and it shows those records as well here too, where you are signing in and where you're exposing the various information and you can even filter just based off of this application as well. So you can see all these events about the files and the activity going on. And this is just a test account. So I just have the one user, but you can see it across all users as well. And then the same thing can be said in the file section. You can start to see all the files that are populated here. And if there's any collaborators on them and you can then take other action like viewing the related alerts associated, putting these in the trash if you really wanted to and looking at uh, certain metadata associated with it. So it's a pretty powerful connection you're creating and you can fold in all of the activity here if you're using multiple providers like Microsoft and then Dropbox for file storage. That's everything I wanted to show in this video for you guys though. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or comments. Otherwise, please like or subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks guys, have a great day.